Hello everybody, my name's uh, Steve, um, in Australia, it's the 21st of June 2014 and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a prototype solar beeswax melter that I've made up for the coming summer when I start to do my honey collecting and um, try and extract some of the, the beeswax to make some useful items out of. Okay, so what I've uh, made here is uh, basically a box and what I'll do is I'll just turn the camera around and you can see the basic basic shape of it. It's a bit of a shape of an L and all this is made out of essentially recycled material or scraps of material that I've had or I've found in uh, skip bins um, or acquired from the internet some small items I'll show you in a minute. I'll just uh, turn the camera around so you can see the basic shape of the box. Okay, so what you can see here is that uh, basically I've got, uh, it's a bit of uh, uh, 12 mil MDF and it's got a frame around it of uh, 25 millimetre square, again, um, off-cut wood material all the way around just to give it a bit of, a bit of strength. Okay, now in, in, inside the uh, uh, box what I've, do, I've done is to make sure that the heat keeps in is, um, rather than just leaving it as wood, I've actually lined it with this polystyrene foam. Now this polystyrene foam is around about 20-25 um, about mm thick. I cut it actually, I sliced two pieces up to make this. So it's about 25 an inch, an inch thick, 25 mm thick, all the way around, inside, underneath every area. And that, that sort of keeps the heat, heat in nicely. Again, as you can see from the color of discoloration of the wood, these are all scrap bits of wood I've just used here. Nothing, nothing smart, nothing fancy. Okay, now, um, to go in there, what I've um, made up, again, this tray was out of a, a sheet metal shop skip bin. It was just the right size. It was actually square. And I've cut this shape in here, plus bent these lips up very easily. It's very, it's very thin gauge, about 20 millimeters, uh, sorry, 20 gauge. And it's got a little small spout here where the wax runs out. So that fits nicely inside here like this. And there's a little catch at the top of this so that it doesn't slip out of the slip out of place. Um, the next thing to go in there for the wax to sit on is um, this stainless steel grid. Now all this is is some off cuts of powder coated stainless steel wire security frame riveted together just to make just to make the right size to fit in there. And at the end here, there's just a little bit of a foot, you can see, which acts as the same shape. Now these rivets also are quite good because they stand about three millimeters proud underneath here, which gives it some air space to allow the wax to run out. Now that fits into the tray, just like that. Nice little snug fit. And, um, the convenience about this particular size is it's about the full size of an Australian um, fr uh, bee frame. And so the ones I get that I just need to just drop in, I can just drop it in there like that and leave it there and uh, come back. There should be no, no wax on the frame. Okay, the next sort of area is um, the wax collector itself. Now, this is just an ordinary baking tray, the PTFE. Teflon coated baking tray which allows the, allow the wax to sort of slip out once I put about the 25 ml of water in the bottom and that just sits underneath there, right underneath the spout. So that's the basic box size, that's the front collector panel and the wax area. Now to, to block this off, again a very simple bit of uh, plywood, 12, uh, this is uh, 9 millimeters. So foam just stuck together on this and paper tape around the outside. And to close that off, there's no hinges, it just, just fits, sits a nice snug fit in there, just like that. Beautiful. Okay, then the next, uh, the next item to seal off the total area here is um, I was looking for a piece of glass and at our local recycling centre. Um, I managed to find this, this uh, door. This is one of three doors. It's, it's pine, so it's not too heavy. And then that 
sits on there like that and it's come with the hinges here and that just hinges like that. So I'll put a stop on there. I've got a little bit of a stop at the moment, a bit of string. And that seals the whole compartment off. Now to go and make sure we get the right temperature here, because wax melts at I think around about 65 degrees centigrade, beeswax, something in that order. It's probably essential that you've got some idea of what the temperature is going to be. Now, uh, to do this, I've bought off the internet a $3 oven, oven thermometer. Nothing fancy, but it's got enough, on, enough uh, gradients on here um, to show me if it's got 50 degrees. So once it gets above 50 degrees and there's 100, I know in that range the wax should be starting to melt. So that's going to be mounted, it'll be mounted insi inside the box and sitting through the screen there so I can see it. And then just to round off uh, the box is standing on on some legs again just made out of some one by one material and, and that just sits in the back there like that it's quite firm and strong so I tested this yesterday and it got up to um, it got up to 65 degrees and the actual normal air temperature here now at the moment is 17 degrees so I think it's going to, this efficiency will be very good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it might give you some ideas on making your own solar beeswax melter. Okay, bye for now.